Hey everyone! Today we're going to go over how to complete a blood glucose test using a finger prick. So let's jump right in! So before we begin this process, please be sure to perform hand hygiene and gather all of your supplies. We have all of our supplies set and ready to go. We have our gloves, our glucose meter also known as a glucometer, our test strips, lancets, gauze, alcohol pads, and I have my model which is going to be my mom. She's not diabetic but she has the perfect flawless hand for the demo and she's really cool. Okay, so let's put on our gloves. Let's get started. We're going to begin by rubbing the designated finger with alcohol and allow it to air dry. The middle finger and ring fingers are usually the best fingers to prick because they are less sensitive than the index and thumb and leave less calluses and scars. You should never use the pinky finger because there isn't enough tissue depth to prevent bone injury. Now let's pick up our lancet and remove the cap. And a really quick side note, we want to increase blood flow to the finger and how you do this really depends on the facility or state you practice in. Some organizations will teach you to warm the finger to increase blood flow using a warm cloth. Some organizations may teach the nurse or the tech to massage the finger to increase blood flow. And in some states, massaging the finger is discouraged. However, in this video, I will increase blood flow according to the CDC by pressing firmly on the finger while making the puncture. Now we can prick the finger to obtain our drop of blood. By pressing the lancet firmly against the finger, you will activate the needle, in turn, puncturing the site. Most organizations will encourage you to prick the side of the finger because there are less nerves and more vessels. I pricked the middle so you all can get a good view at what I'm doing. Wherever you prick the finger, just be sure that you are pricking a site that is warm, intact, and free from edema, bruises, or calluses. Alright, we have our first drop of blood, and we're going to wipe away that first drop of blood to avoid getting a false reading. And if you have to, you can lightly stimulate the finger until a drop of blood has come out. Let's place the test strip inside of the glucose meter. We are going to place the tip of the test strip against the drop of blood. The test strip will detect the blood and automatically absorb it. The glucose meter will take about 5 seconds to analyze the blood. It will then read and give you a number. As you can see, her reading is 125, which is perfect because we both just had a pumpkin spice latte. Be sure to assess the puncture site for active bleeding. If there is active bleeding, feel free to take a gauze and apply pressure to the site for about 15 seconds. And last but certainly not least, we want to remove our test strip from the glucose meter, take our used lancet and our used gauze, and dispose of them in a biohazard container. Doff gloves and perform hand hygiene. Thanks for watching! Alright everyone, that brings this video to an end. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out nursingtonurture.com for promo codes, merch, as well as more educational content. Remember to never give up and as always, thanks for watching.